friends, Joel back with another super cool astrology video and I wanted to tackle a composite aspect today and talk about composite Mars square to Pluto. What we get when we see this bad boy in a composite chart. So Mars is in a composite chart, the combined ego energy, the, um, the aggression between two people, the anger, the go-getter part of us. And Pluto is the unconscious part of us that wants to control the part that um, is about, you know, deep-seated things, buried things, things that we don't necessarily acknowledge, but because of that, they definitely are big in our lives. So when we have these two coming together in an aspect of a square, this is one of the bigger um, composite aspects that we see, uh, or one of our stronger composite aspects that we see in the charts of people that can potentially have some amount of violence between them. That is not how this one always shows up. You're going to read that a lot when you read this uh, description or um, hear other st astrologers talk about that. I actually see the square in the composite charts of people who are not killing each other. And it does present some serious um, issues, but it is uh, surmountable. There aren't a lot of astrologers that are going to present this aspect that way, but this is actually one that you can work with depending on who the individuals are. So these two challenge each other a lot when we are in um, a relationship with this particular square. Uh, you see two very, very evenly matched opponents going up against each other to battle when we have this particular square. And um, there's a very unconscious ego drive behind this one. That's really, really what is going on here, is these two people want, both want to be right, and they don't want to let the other one get away with anything. So there's this element of when you're in one of these relationships where, you know, they call each other on things and um, want to prove their own way or prove their own idea to the other one. So they want to come out on top. This is an aspect where you really can't behave from an egoic place and that that's what this is about so if you aren't acknowledging this one if you aren't seeing that what's really behind it that it isn't the other person it's probably you and in fact it's probably both of you then this is one that can actually be worked with there's a lot of sexual attraction with this one there's a lot of interest between two people when we have this one and this shows two people that are actually um, good opponents for each other. They're good friends, but they are also um, a, ch a, a challenge to each other as well. And that is why this aspect is very attractive to people, because it does have that element of um, wanting to win. So this one, we can see a lot of resentment coming into the relationship and a lot of unconscious resentments and a lot of unacknowledged and undealt with resentments that build and build and build and build and you know most relationships they are not killed off by one thing it is a series of little things that build up until we're done and this is a lot how this one manifests in composite charts so it's really important to uh, come from a place of love when we have this particular square because it does make two people into two very worthy competitors and that is really not a good alchemy for a relationship to take place within. We can have some of that and um, you know, depending on the two people, the, the natal charts, it'll really show you the, um, the individual potentials within this uh, 
this particular composite chart because if you have two people that are more prone to violence or prone to acting out, this aspect can pull that out of two people because it can create this feeling of just great anger or great um, obsessional attraction even, even that has this root in the ego. So, it's one that we really need to be operating from a higher place because this one really has two people wanting to get down in the dirt and just go at it with each other uh, in myriad ways. So it's important to recognize what is going on, to recognize that you are trying to be right, and you need to ask yourself, do I want to be right? Do I want to be happy? Do I want to be right? Or do I want this relationship? And you have to stand down when you have this particular square. You have to let the other person make their mistakes. And even if you think they're being a stupid dumbass, you have to get out of their way and allow them to live their life. Because it's in that trying to prove or trying to change or trying to show the other that um, what you think is right is right, that's where the problems come up. So you can control this one by controlling yourself. That's where this one really begins, the solving of this one, is you have to take this particular square into your own hands instead of putting it on the other person because that's what's creating the square in the first place. So take some responsibility, Back up, take a few breaths. You're probably super attracted to each other. There's probably a little bit of a love-hate going thing going on here. If you are otherwise um, in a healthy relationship, this is one that can be handled, but not if you're going to be proud about it. So, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. You can find me on the internet at truthandaspectastrology.com. You can find me on Facebook at Truth and Aspect Astrology, where I do uh, daily weather forecasts, birthday descriptions, all kinds of fun articles over there. I specialize in relationship and intimacy astrology, as well as asteroids and planetoids. So you can find my writings on my website and over there on Facebook. And I'll be back super soon. Bye-bye.